so one of the things that i really like about using photoshop is your ability to make use of elements from previous works in new designs or new projects so for instance i have this particular summer party flyer that i got from the website that we are about talking about today and you can easily make use of any of these for instance if i want to go for the models image for a different project i can easily come and select the models image and then i can drag it onto the new project that i'm working on or better still if i want to use or make use of only the background i can come to the background over here and then i can drag that onto the new layer or the new project that i'm working on and then probably increase the opacity and then i can make use of it or better still if i have i want to make a combination of like two different past projects so i have this friday cocktail flyer and then that of the summer flyer i can easily use different elements from these two flyers and use it in my new project and that is why having extra projects and not necessarily what you've done only helps in this video we're looking at this website that allows you to download free psd files that you can use in your project for free when i talk about free psd files i mean a psd file that has all the layers activated like something like this so if you have this project for instance and you want to make use of any part of it you can easily go and use it and we are looking at how to download and use it right away hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing okay so the website you are looking at today is called psdfreebase.com there are a couple of websites that are related to this one but one thing that i love about this website is how simple it is and then there's so many freebies that we have on this website so once you open the website you're going to be welcomed with a home page which has a couple of freebies and then you realize that all of them are in psd file you have the option to search over here as well if you want to quickly navigate through so we can search for something like business card all right so it is going to open all the business cards that is on this page for you you can search also for flyers or any other thing like that and then all of the things that you're going to search for basically are in psd so when you download them it has all the layers one after the other for you so let's quickly look at a business card like this once you want to once you are here and you want to download you go ahead and you click on the particular freebie that you want to download and then you can scroll to the bottom here so you scroll to the bottom and then you are going to find download here in most cases you are going to find follow you have to follow them on twitter or you have to retweet or you have to perform a particular action to be able to activate the download button so once you have the download button over here you are just going to go ahead and click on download now another interesting thing about this website is how small their files are but they are also very quality because this whole business card is like 4.1 megabytes which is very small but the quality is amazing so once it's done downloading you're just going to head over to your download location which i have mine to be my downloads so you're going to see it is a zip file so we are going to open that right over here so once you open it you are basically going to see a couple of folders so if you don't see the actual psd file over there you can just double click on the folders and look through it one after the other but in most cases the psd file is right in there so you are going to open that and then we have the front and then the back so what we are going to do is we are going to select the two so you select the first one hold control and then we are going to extract that to a different location so that we can open it you can of course open it right from here but extracting it will give you the option to find it in the recent so we extract this let's say you extract to desktop and click ok now it is done extracting let's go to our desktop and then we have the front and then the back so let's quickly open the front for instance and see what we have and anytime you open this freebie you are going to see a blank page you, you need to go to the layer visibility here and then you are going to turn that on and then they have the freebies kind of um, i don't know how it's called but it's kind of a watermark on it so all i need to do is turn that off and then you are good to go to use this 
for your business card or you can get inspiration from this if you want to see exactly how the shape was done just the shapes only you can see how it was done here so that is how the shapes were done so it is basically some rectangles that has been so you can pick inspiration from this and then you can as well find the icons over here if you want to use that so when you drop down there is the icon it is actually a shape that was used for the icon you can pick a part of this to be part of your project or you can just change a couple of things and then use it especially if you are not a graphic designer yourself and you need something to go straight away you can just make a couple of changes and then you can use this in the instances of flyers that is how you basically find it so you find it empty like this and then you are going to turn the layer visibility on turn off the watermark and then the rest of the items or the rest of the information are available to you so one important thing that you can learn from this is how the things were applied so you see for instance that the effect over here was actually changed the blend mode was changed to screen to give it that effect so in normal sense when you put this to normal it means that it is not the same color so this is the actual color but the person had to change it to screen to give that whitish circle effect and then he reduced the opacity it is one way to learn how to apply things to your backgrounds how to apply elements and effects or how some things were achieved because looking at it straight from here especially if you're a beginner it is very difficult for you to realize how exactly this was achieved so by downloading templates like this and analyzing it not necessarily copying it and claiming that it is your own you are able to see how some things are done and this helps you in learning the basic concepts of design so so let's take another look we, we look at the test over here so the friday cocktail test so let's check the friday so we realize that the friday itself is a test and then since i don't have that test on my laptop i when you click on it it is going to give you that particular name and then you can easily download i did a full tutorial on how to download fonts so you can check the video up here so yeah you can basically go to freebeats.com you have mockups web templates and so many things banners emailers and icons social media kits and a whole lot of stuff that you can download for free at no cost at all and then you can use it to improve your designs you can get the elements from other designs use it in your designs to make it very eye catchy and then it will help you to also learn and better your craft let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of such freebies type of tutorials and i'll be glad to cover more of them for you thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video if this video was helpful and subscribe to the channel will be so very appreciated i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye